so far you have been dealing with on-premise systems and infrastructures. Now it's time to go above and beyond. It's time to move to the cloud computing, especially to the SAP Business Technology Platform, BTP in short. In this journey, we'll actually start from the very fundamental concepts and driving you through the advanced level, real-time hands-on scenarios. So we'll start from what is BTP? Why to use BTP? How and when part? Then we'll move into the BTP architectures overview, understand the keep core clean concepts, understand in-app versus side-by-side -side extensibilities, the fundamentals of IT cloud transformations with SAP Business Technology Platform. We'll learn different BTP services, tools for admins, different DevOps techniques within SAP Business Technology Platform Cockpit, CLI and APIs. When we clear up the baseline fundamentals, we'll dive into the SAP BTP global account and sub-account creations, basically the SAP BTP account modeling part. Understand the development landscape, delivery landscape and also implement it in real time. Then we'll see how to manage entitlements and quotas. Also different administration and operations in SAP Business Technology Platform. Then we'll start building, configuring, managing and administrating one of the core component of SAP BTP. That is HANA Cloud. To start with HANA Cloud as well, we'll start from basics and move into the advanced layer. We'll start the provisioning part of SAP HANA Cloud instances. Then deep dive into SAP HANA platform architectures. Understand the different data tiering in SAP HANA Cloud, like hot, warm and cold storage. Then we will be exploring the different SAP HANA Cloud tools and services options. We'll deep dive into HANA Cloud Central. Go for the HANA Cloud cockpit and administrations, where we'll learn and implement so many things like backup and recovery, handling alerts, workload management, and so many techniques. Then we'll be navigating through HANA Cloud Database Explorer and its different artifacts. We'll work with SAP Business Application Studio and command line interfaces for different configuration, management, governance, and administration purposes. After understanding and implementing everything on SAP BTP HANA Cloud part, we'll implement and administer SAP Build Work Zone. We'll see how to do the SAP S4 HANA Fury App Content Federation in SAP BTP Build Work Zone, previously which was known as Central Launchpad. Then we'll move into the application deployment part. No, no, we'll not try to develop any application code here. Rather, we'll mainly focus on the administration and operation part of the environment in which our developers will do application development and application deployment. We'll go for the BTP ABAP environment first to all the required hands-on. Then we'll move into the widely used Cloud Foundry environment with all the CLI command operations. Slowly, we'll be moving into the DevOps part, which is the most important job for any BTP admin person. We'll learn Docker container with practical hands-on mode, then Kubernetes. Then we'll see how to do administration and operations in the BTP Kima environment. We'll learn how to efficiently manage the code versions for SAP BTP application codes. We'll practically implement BTP CTMS. Cloud Transport Management Service and BTP CI CD Continuous Integration and Continuous Delivery Service. This is to govern the code development and deployment in most efficient way for any BTP applications. We'll also deploy multi-tenant SaaS apps in BTP with HANA Cloud Persistency. We'll be using alert notification service and application scaling service in BTP. Whenever we need any background scheduling in BTP, we'll be using job scheduling service. We'll do hands-on application logging part and how to automatically govern various BTP services using automation pilot as part of this DevOps process. Of course, we'll work on the security administration part in SAP BTP, especially IAS, IPS, authorization and trust management and all. We'll learn the enterprise app security mechanism with authentication, authorization based on role, scope and attributes. And while working in SAP BTP, you also need to integrate with your core backend systems like ECC or S4 HANA. And most of the times our backend systems are behind some firewall. 
For that, we need to set up different agents to communicate between BTP and on-premise systems. We'll see how to set up the Smart Data Integration (SDI) data provisioning agent. We'll implement the cloud connector with RFC and HTTP-based protocols. We'll also set up the enterprise events in SAP S4 HANA and consume it in SAP BTP Event Mesh Service. We'll see how easy it is to set up the print service manager for all the print scenarios in SAP BTP. And of course, whenever we learn any of the BTP services, we need to thoroughly understand the different SAP BTP licensing and pricing model so that we can manage the customer's BTP landscape in most proficient and cost-effective way. We'll also help and guide you for some relevant SAP BTP certification like SAP HANA Cloud Provisioning and Administration. So that's it from my side today. See you soon in our SAP BTP Administration and Governance Training tailored for you for your customer success in the IT transformation in SAP Business Technology Platform. Thank you so much.